love shopping, especially when it's good for the planet. Today we were checking out the canvas at the seaport. Guys, it's so nice to meet you. Tell me about the canvas, what is it? We noticed that there were a tremendous amount of independent brands around the world that wanted access to physical retail. It did not have that. We see these vacant storefronts in every major city in the world. We started calling them and saying, simply, you guys have a space, we have a community of independent brands around the world. We want to bring them to you, and we want to activate that space. Let's give it a shot, and that is really how we started. We do all of that curation around the UN Sustainable Development Goals. So we see a lot of apparel in the store. What other types of items do you sell? Here's some of the fragrances that we're focusing on, uh, jewelry, accessories, handbags. Like, there is not really a limit uh, where we see this going. I think our approach is also, you know, we, we have so many brands, we can create different concepts. Every canvas is different, and it's a different experience depending what customer is there uh, and what we see fitting in that uh, area, really. So tell me about your spaces over at the Oculus. So the, the, the Westfield World Trade Center is an unbelievable New York location. It's iconic, and we've sort of worked with Westfield to talk to them about what are the most exciting concepts that we can bring in, activate very efficiently, and really use to bring that building back to life. All right, you have so many brands. How do you curate what's going to be in the store? So the start of the curation process is the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We're really looking for brands that have a clear mission and are looking to better their community, better their world. From there, I'm looking for something interesting. Sustainable fashion can be more exciting, more unique and textured than any other fashion choice. I love it. And I love your outfit that you're wearing right now. So this is a sustainable piece that we can get in the store. So this brand is called Nari. They're actually the project of three Cambodian sisters. The brand is named after their mother who escaped from the genocide of the Khmer Rouge. The brand employs people who have been rescued from human trafficking and sexual exploitation, pays them fair wages and gives them good working conditions. So the next brand I'd like to share with you is Sapongo. The designer is Dominican French, and her multicultural, multiracial upbringing is really at the heart of what she does. All of her pieces are entirely vegan, organic, and made from the most sustainable materials she can find. Medea is an incredible young designer from Orange, New Jersey. Each one of her pieces is crafted from an existing garment cut up and sewn back together into a unique work of fabric art that flatters the body and really just goes to show that recycling doesn't have to be boring. Bella Muse is a hand get bag and accessory brand from right here in New York. The designer is inspired deeply by her Indian heritage. What Jagisha does with Bella Muse is upcycle vintage saris into bags that you can wear with any outfit. So truly an example of how sustainable fashion is a way to preserve culture and protect these unique textile traditions that exist all over the world while still having a way to dress in a way that is modern and fresh. Isabel, thank you so much for showing me around today. I love the store. Of course, and you know, come back anytime. We have new brands coming in every month and Come join us, play dress up.